everyone, it is Lucy and I am most certainly not refilming this intro because I made a technical error. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is Lucy and today we are back with a favorite subject on this channel and that is Korean fashion. Now you all know that I'm very into K-fashion and so I'm very excited because today we're going to be trying a new brand that I have not actually tried before. We're entering into uncharted territory. I don't know if some of you have heard of them already but the brand is called Lucan. So Lucan actually reached out to me and asked if I wanted to test some of their clothing pieces as I do on this channel and spread the good word of the Korean fashion gospel. So Lucan is a new Korean fashion website and they have a variety of different styles and kind of vibes and they are shipping clothes directly from Seoul. They're very focused on conveying the trends right from the streets of Korea. So the large selection across their site showcases styles across the whole spectrum catering to a range of budgets. They ship worldwide via DHL Express and they also have an app for easy shopping. They're very much a new brand. So even just in the kind of time space of them getting in touch with me, me picking the pieces, having them shipped and getting them here. The way that their website looks from me initially looking is quite different to how it looks now and like the range is really increased from originally to now. Lucan also does have a plus size slash curve range on their site which a lot of Korean fashion sites don't have so I was pleased to see that present. I do hope however that they are going to increase the range that is available through that section. The range of items in that section are not necessarily like paralleling or like size extensions of the section from the straight size section of the website. They just seem to be different items all together so I do hope that that range can be expanded in future. I will pop all of the information like the links and the sizes of all the pieces that I try in today in the description box below and I'm excited to share it with you because I feel like I, uh, I feel like I found some little little gems. <laughs> So if something strikes your fancy on the Lucan website or the Lucan app, then you can use the code LucyLivin20 to save 20% off your order. And without further ado, let's get into the video and try everything on. I don't really know what to call this combo. Sometimes when I pick items for these videos, I'm not necessarily picking like matching items. Like I hope they match. So then sometimes I just get combinations like this, which... I kind of want to call it Paris Hilton goes golfing in 2002. I also kind of want to call it Lindsay Lohan in Mean Girls in like the middle chunk of the movie when she dresses like the plastic outfit that didn't get selected is in the deleted scenes, kind of. Regardless, there is simultaneously a lot happening, but also like not much <laughs> happening. So I think I'm just gonna start with top. <laughs> I'm gonna cha cha slide this way and pop a little picture up of the top from the website so you can kind of see what I was expecting, what I received. I would say it's very much the same. This top is a classic Lucy top, I'm sure. Any of you who watched a couple of my videos will know my love for a white crop top. I have a top that is very similar to this. And so when I saw it on the website, I was like, this is a really great baseline for me to kind of test the quality because I like to get a mix of things that are familiar to me or something that I have like, you know, experience with so I can compare as much as I like to get pieces that are different and a little outside my comfort zone. So this, this is a piece, a concept that I'm very familiar with. And the reason why I picked this top out in particular is because a lot of the time with Korean fashion, they tend to be like synthetic fabrics, even with these sorts of tops, which, you know, can be made of either one. But this one was a cotton with a little bit of spandex just to give it kind of that nice like stretch and fit. It's not thick per se, but it's not like that super thin, transparent kind of cotton that you sometimes get with more affordable tops. It's nice and opaque, no complaints from the quality standpoint. I think it's lovely. I will say it was a little bit tighter than what I was expecting. It came in the size small to medium, but that was the only size it had. So it's effectively a one size top. And not all of the items on the Lucan site are one size. The sizing availability or range does seem to change on each item. So it does seem like it just changes depending on which manufacturer created that particular item. So the fit is a little bit tighter than what I was anticipating, not in terms of it's like an uncomfortable tightness, but I do just feel like it's very, very fitted, particularly on my arms. And initially when I saw that, I was a bit like, oh, I'm not really sure. But I also think this kind of really fitted baby tee look that was very popular, I would say in like, the early mid 2000s kind of became unpopular and it was more about having like boxy kind of like oversized bits and now I don't really know if the pendulum's swinging back that way or if it's just kind of spinning around <laughs> I feel like with TikTok especially it's like everything is kind of on trend at the same time meaning that sort of nothing is on trend but like there are still trends that are pretty you get my point <laughs> something that is not on trend like now in the main zeitgeist can be on trend within a very specific like aesthetic group you know? 
Anyway, all to say, I was kind of like, ooh, this is like really tight. I'm not sure if I like that. And I was like, am I not sure if I like that because like that's not a thing, like a trend that I've experienced as an adult woman? Or do I not like it because I don't like it? And I think it's maybe the former. Like I actually don't, it, it's really grown on me. I don't know, it's kind of cute. Also the great thing about this top is that while it is nice and opaque and nice quality, it's not overly thick and it's not super bulky and it's really fitted. So it makes for really good layering under things like pinafore dresses. Cause I got a pinafore dress kind of recently and I had decided I wanted to pair it with like a blouse with like a collar, but because the buttons on it were kind of like bulky and stuff, it just looked really higgledy piggledy, a little bit lumpy bumpy. It wasn't really the vibe. So like this, kind of thing works really really well for layering so i know some of you are going into the cooler months i know this is a white crop top but layering trans seasonal attire that's what we're aiming for so i did just want to start with that kind of as a baseline we're familiar we know it we love it so let's move on to the less familiar i mean it's a vibe if you have seen some of my fashion content recently you'll know that i had kind of a realization where i was like actually i don't think i need to just wear high waist silhouettes i still love high waist silhouettes don't get me wrong but just as of recent i tried something you know more mid to low waist and i was like this isn't bad i should explore and i have been exploring but all of the mid to low waist stuff that i've been wearing so far has all been like midi or maxi skirts so it's kind of like I'm being a little bit risky up here, but I feel safe down there. Yeah, this is like a, it's a mini skirt. So I've sort of gotten rid of the safety blanket a little bit here. So I was very nervous about this. This was the exact kind of piece where I was like, is this gonna go well? Is this gonna go horribly? Let's find out. You know, taking it in and out of the basket, should I, shouldn't I? But ultimately I thought, let's give it a go because if it is good, which I think it is, then I am sharing with you a very, very cute little baby pink mini skirt. But anyway, let me, Cha-cha slide. Here is the picture on the website so you can get an idea of how it was on the website. And again, like with the top, I feel like it is very much the same. This pink color to me, yum yum yum, munch crunch. It's delicious. This Barbie pink, like Greta Gerwig will be calling me. This one came in two sizes. Again, like I said with the top, the sizing range does change from item to item. So I got this one in a size medium. I think that was the correct choice. I have like a bit of room, it could go lower, but I, this, this is the exact <laughs> level that I want it to sit at. And so regarding the material of this very, very pretty, sumptuous, delicious, tasty tweed, it is 100% polyester. And it's something which I have noticed just seems to be a theme with all of these kind of tweed material garments. All I'm trying to say is I don't really think I've seen any like natural fiber tweeds. It's very uncommon. I think typically across, you know, a very wide range of brands, they tend to do these kind of tweed pieces in a polyester or acrylic or synthetic mix. It just seems to be what happens. Which, you know, I talk a lot about fabrics and how much I like natural fibers, but I'm not anti-synthetic. It's just more so like, it's something I look for, but it doesn't necessarily rule my purchasing decision entirely. You know what I mean? It's a criteria, but it doesn't decide the grade. But either way, I am very happy with the quality and the way it looks. It does have, I have to mention this, this is important. It does have these little like shorties underneath, like this little satin, almost like pajama bloomers. Now, for my girls with the hippies in the boot, you may have experiences, or at least I have experiences, where I shop with Korean fashion brands and I'm buying a skirt and I check all the measurements and I'm like, yep, yeah, I'm good, I'm good to go, I've done the math, I've done the science, this skirt will fit me. And then the skirt arrives and for some reason, there is just a pair of like synthetic shorts that are just very small inside the skirt. And I always have to either cut the shorts or cut them out of the garment entirely. And it's just like, why, why? So when I looked at these and I saw they had this kind of like shorts, when I went to go put them on, I was like, no, not today, not this. However, they're kind of more like bloomers. I, I don't know how to explain it. Like, um, like you know those like kind of fluttery, pajama satiny shorts they're not like fitted they're just kind of there as almost like a skirt lining with like a little bit in the middle it does not impact how these fit thank the lord and so for that i am cool with the little inbuilt shorts here because it actually does not impact the wear of the skirt which is you know it's the point i bought the skirt i didn't buy the pants underneath so all in all i'm very much into the skirt it's giving preppy it's giving princess it's giving barbie core it is fulfilling all of my dreams the color the style, just the energy that it possesses that is like within the fabric, it's it's very cute to me. So going straight from the mid to low waisted mini, we're going to the high waisted maxi. I'm loving that both of these skirt trends in right now. Like, choose a fighter. So I know you cannot see it in its full glory, but do not worry, I will put a clip in. But first let me scooch on over and show you a picture of how it looks on the website. 
So this is a mermaid denim maxi. I guess the rule is that if it touches the floor, if it's like at your ankle, that's a maxi. And then anything above that, that's like not a midi is a midi. But I had seen so many of these kind of denim midi slash maxi skirts kind of floating around in like Korean fashion sphere. I don't know, like it just feels slightly more dressy than jeans, but then it's styled in a really casual way. It's interesting, it's different. It's not something that I have tried or have. So very much like with the pink skirt that I just showed you, this skirt came in two sizes, a small and a medium. I went with a medium. It is primarily cotton being denim, but again, it also has a little bit of spandex in it for some stretch, which is very nice for these kind of styles that are designed to be very much form fitting and kind of have this very specific silhouette. When I first tried it on, I was a little bit nervous that it wasn't going to fit, but uh, as you can see here and as you can see, it, it does and it fits very comfortably. There's quite a bit of stretch here, like a firm stretch. Once it's on, it feels very like secure and almost sculpting in a way, but it doesn't feel like uncomfortable. Like I don't feel like, you know, I can't eat a munch crunch lunch in it, which is where my priorities at really. Like I need to be able to eat lunch and all other meals in my clothes. I wish for comfort primarily. <laughs> Also, as you can see here, due to the slit down the front of the skirt, I am able to be very mobile, which is good because I am a public transportation girly. I like to walk, so I don't really like things that inhibit that ability, but knowing that it is flexible, comfortable, thumbs up on that account. Overall, it's definitely the kind of piece where I'm like keen to experiment styling with it because it is a very different sort of piece for me, but I do like how it looks and I do feel like it would be quite fun to style it. I have been wearing a lot of midi maxi skirts as of recent, like the kind of summery vibe, and I am a big denim girl. I'm sure some of you know, and if you don't know, you know, I love denim. I don't like to wear a lot of dark colours in the spring summer months, which is what I'm going into in Australia, but also just like generally, I'm just, I, I prefer the lighter kind of mid-tone colours and just the blues and denim is just denim just works for me. So having this kind of denim piece that's very different to like all the other denim I normally wear, which is just like jeans. It's really fun to experiment with like new silhouettes and styles that, you know, you haven't tried before because this is the kind of thing where I'm like, I don't know exactly how I'm going to style it. I don't know how it's going to go, but I'm excited to play, um, which I'm very lucky to kind of get to do on the internet for you. And speaking with which, I'm going to pop one of the other items on top because I feel like they could work together. I could be entirely wrong, but let's find out. Okay, I may have spoken too soon about this being like a very cool styling combo. I think maybe I'm just like not pulling it off or I'm not really giving it the conviction. I think I need to like play with it a bit, but just like the baggy jumper, like long skirt combo. The Korean fashion girlies, they do it very well. They look very cute. So I just need to find my confidence and like zhuzh it up. But I saw this jumper on the website and I I was initially very tempted by it. I was like, that is very cute. But I was like, it's a big oversized jumper, Lucy. What what can you say? But I just continued to return to this like picture. I don't know, it just, it looked so delectable to me. Maybe it's like the cookie graphic. I don't know. I can't describe it, but there is something about these very cute, almost like French inspired, I mean the lettering here is French, that I see a lot in Korean clothing, like this sort of French casual motif. And I don't know if I've just seen a lot of it and it's like kind of started to slowly seep into my brain. I will say in the very brief time between me ordering this and receiving it, it has gotten a lot hotter here. Like it was quite like chilly really recently and it's just gotten so hot and humid. It's giving tropical Queensland for sure. The way they have it styled in the image is with denim and they have like a little collar, which actually let me pull this. <laughs> Let me pull this collar out. See the pleated collar? And like, that's how it looks extended, but I kind of wonder if like, kind of tucking it, like, you know? Can you understand where I'm like going my vision? It's casual, but there's effort. Like it's styled. It's, it's you know, it's more than a t-shirt and jeans. Like art slash journalism student at like a moderately prestigious university. You know what I mean? Like they're in the cafe with like a nice notebook and they're like, writing their like big brain thoughts, like they write a cute little like haiku or something. Like I'm not really that, I'm just a woman in a big oversized jumper with a cookie on it. I don't know if I did mention, but it is very plush, very comfy, and it is 100% cotton, which is very enjoyable. Even if I don't find like a kind of like understated chic way to style this, I will, I will wear this. It is very comfortable, like the bagginess is just mm. Please tell me down below that you kind of like know the vision I'm like referencing because I feel like I explained it in the weirdest possible way that I could. <laughs> Sometimes you see things and you think they're all going to match together and then like it kind of comes out odd. But tell me why I just look like an extra on Netflix's Do Revenge. 
It's a little bit of a funky combo, but we're going to address all the elements. <laughs> Let's start from the top with this lovely little Argyle vest. I have become a recent vest convert, I would say over the last year plus. Is that recent? I don't really know. Point is, I started experimenting with vests as they kind of became trendy. I was like, hey, I've never tried vests, let me give vests a shot. And I very much like them. I have an oversized black and white one that I wear all the time, and I have a little crop one that's similar to this, but it's also quite like dark colours, it's like black. And so when I saw this one on the website and these like pastel colours, I was like, I don't know, I feel like I just don't see a lot of like pastely coloured vests. Maybe I'm just looking in the wrong places. You might all be like, Lucy, there are plenty of pastel coloured vests. But may I just say, pastel colours in like more of a cool tone? See, maybe you might agree with me there. I feel like there are a lot of warm toned pastel vests and I see them and I'm like, they're cute. They're just not really for me. Like they're just very like peachy. You know what I mean? They're these really warm colours. And I just really liked how like cool this little like the blue and the lilac purpley kind of vibe. I already like this exact like cut and style of vest. I think it looks really cute on top of like shirt dresses and these kind of collared blouses. But you know what I mean? This like a little mini skirt underneath, I feel like is more kind of where I'm taking it. But regardless, it's a very nice quality, nice and thick. It's acrylic, which is pretty standard for these types of vests. I don't tend to find too many that are like cotton or wool blends unless they're really in those higher price points and again this color kind of combo is pretty rare to come by so I just wanted to share this because I thought it was cute. Should I just take it off? I feel like I should just take it off. We don't need to make it weird. I I think, I, well actually I think I made it weird. But let us divest ourselves so we can talk about this blouse. I am a sucker for oversized collared blouses and I've really been on the hunt for them as of recent and I've had middling levels of success. You know what I mean? Like some of them are nice, but maybe they're a bit on the creamy ivory side and I'm like, I don't want that. So I took a gamble on this one. I saw it and I was like, this is very much what I like. Let's see how we go. And I feel like I'll get my one small criticism out of the way before we dive into things I do like about it. And it is that the arms, they have little buttons at the back, obviously not compulsory to do up, but like, you know, their buttons to be done up. <laughs> and it does make it a little bit tight on my arms. This blouse does just come in the one size, the small to medium, I would call it one size. So it's not really like I could have sized up to get maybe a little bit more room on the cuffs. Again, I'm a white lady shopping on a Korean fashion website. I know that the products aren't necessarily always made for my particular body type in mind, but I did just want to mention that. Just just a little toint, a little bit. And the comfiness is enhanced by the fact that this is 100% cotton, which you know I love. And the website said it was white and it is white. It is a white blouse. I have not been conned this time. It's not white and it looks white in the pictures and when it shows up, it's like ivory or cream. This is a true white shirt. And for that, I am so grateful. One thing I really liked and I will include a little clip is the collar detail. It has this scalloping lace sort of around the edge. I just feel like it is so pretty. It's just like a delicate detail that's like not too much. It's not like too princessy, frou-frou, like three layers of frill, which, you know, I like as well. But it just adds that feminine element that I feel like works with a lot of different variations of look rather than being very like aesthetically specific, if that makes sense. Because you can just get like a plain white blouse that's like really, really plain. But this is definitely like a more feminine kind of cute version without being over the top. Other than that, I like the length of it. It's quite nice. I will like tuck it in to show you and we'll get to the pants. We will get to the pants. But the weave of the fabric is not overly thick. It doesn't feel really like thickum cotton shirt, which even if it's cotton, it can still sometimes feel a little bit like, <gasps> it does feel quite cool and breezy. And it's very much the kind of thing which I'm excited to style nice staple to have. I'm impressed. So far, like everything has been going like pretty solid. Like I'm like hoping it's going to be something and then it is what it is. Primarily so far, everything we've talked about today, positive feelings, very little critiques. <laughs> because I'm sure some of you will know if you've seen other Korean fashion videos or if you've seen mine, it can be really hit and miss. So it is kind of nice to have a selection that is more hits than misses. Um, and even just generally like clothing content in general, you just tend to get a lot of mixed experience, which isn't always enjoyable. So it's just nice to try a lot of things that you're just like, yeah, this is good. I, I will not be needing to fill out an extensive returns label and do that process. It's nice. And speaking of noise, let's move on to the main event, which is these pants. I'm gonna scooch that way. Here's what the pants look like. I typically don't buy pants from online Korean retailers because they typically tend to not fit my typical Korean fashion body type. However, <laughs> I looked at the measurements, I did the math, and I thought actually these look like they're gonna be 
genuinely oversized and baggy on me. So these pants are their wide leg cotton pants and they came in at three sizes and I was tossing up between a medium and a large but because they are quite oversized I was brave and I went with a medium and they are genuinely perfect. I will insert some clips of me wearing them but the fit on these is just they're fantastic. I'm actually going away on the weekend and I was like thinking I want to wear some casual pants but I just you know I wear the same pairs of jeans all the time and I really just want something baggy and breezy and like laid back but like fun and this package arrived and now that I like have them on and I've tried them on they're so good I cannot describe how happy I am with these pants it's just such a it's a dice roll it's a real gamble but it's paid off I'm not a gambling woman but I was in the event of this order and I am just so so happy that they fit how they do and the bonus being that they're this really beautiful kind of lavender color they call them cotton pants on the website but the way it looks it is effectively a lavender lilac denim and again I have tried a pair of those pants I feel like maybe some of you may remember I tried on a pair of like lilac cargo denim pants or something from Good American and those were like not good <laughs> like they just did not look great and having a pair of these just look really good like I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hype myself up I feel like these are so so cute I am just like over the moon they're fantastic especially having such a roomy fit over the hips and like on the back too it's not like low waisted or anything like I think maybe in the picture they're a bit more mid-rise than they kind of end up being on me it's a high waist that fits nicely and there's no gapping or anything like I really, if you struggle like me, or if you have a similar body type to me, and you feel like, you know, just getting that baggy, relaxed jean look is just a challenge for you, check these out. They come in a bunch of colors, and I'm just like, I'm really into them. <laughs> and now I'm like, I need to go back and look at the other colors because these are just fantastic. <laughs> like now I'll be able to have like a cute casual look that isn't just jeans and a t-shirt. It's purple jeans and a t-shirt. Big brain moment for me, I know. So with that, that is everything that I got from Lukin to show you. Actually, no, that's a lie, as it always goes in these videos. Sometimes you just have like a couple bucks left over and I'm like, let me test out the socks. I was clearly feeling the purple mood, wasn't I? Yeah, good, good sock. So now with that, <laughs> that is everything that I got from Lukin, the new Korean fashion website that was my first time trying today and that they very kindly partnered with me on this video. So thank you to Lukin, not only for partnering with me on the video, but also for providing like quality goods. Like I mentioned, all of the information about the items that you saw today will be down in the description box below so you can check them out at your leisure. I hope you enjoyed it. I very much enjoyed discovering a new Korean fashion brand on the scene. Also, like I mentioned, I do have a code. So if you are looking to save on your Lukin order, then that that is for you. Specifically you. Not the other person, but you. You can use it. As always, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!